Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? Now, as I mentioned in my last Dauntless video, I had a recent encounter with a Drask during the Dauntless Tech Alpha and some of you wanted to see the footage. So here it is in all of its ass kicking glory. Of course, the ass being kicked was mine. So it didn't go well for multiple reasons, which I will explain in a minute. In fact, he absolutely whooped our asses on more than one encounter. So I guess this is a story all about how I got my Irish ass kicked upside down. Now, a few months back during the very first few alpha tests, me and some of the guys on my Discord had progressed pretty far down the behemoth progression. We had fought and killed Nasha, Strike, Drask, Emblem and Pangar, and of course then we had moved on to the much harder ones, which some of you guys might not have seen yet, unless you've taken part in the alpha. We had progressed basically because we had geared up beforehand. But for the latest alpha test, all of our progression was of course reset, which happens during alpha tests. And I really needed footage, so I had to progress through all of those behemoths all over again. But I could only do it on the US servers because there was matchmaking issues on the EU ones, which meant I had a high ping, which of course doesn't help when you're trying to dodge out of the way of certain attacks. And I also kind of rushed the progression to try and get as much footage as I could while that window was open. It meant that we fought some of these behemoths really heavily under geared and we just tried to roll over them, which was a really bad idea. Now, normally you would farm these behemoths until you had a full armor set and of course a weapon leveled up as well and then you would move on to the next one and progress like that level up those weapons and armor into the higher tiers until you could move on to the next behemoth but i hadn't time for that so i just said feck it let's kill drask because i really wanted that ember main and pangar footage but the last time i had fought drask of course i was really well geared so it was easier to kill him but no one told Drask that he needed to die in order for me to progress onto the next behemoth. He gave zero fucks about my need for footage and decided that he was going to be the star of the show by stomping all over us. Absolute diva. So what you're seeing in this footage is basically what not to do in a Drask fight or any behemoth for that matter. Don't go in under geared because Drask was my first real gear check in uh, Dauntless, don't just run into a behemoth and think you can roll right over it by spamming your melee button. And if your teammate goes down right beside a behemoth, for the love of Jesus, don't try and revive him. Try to lure the beast away and then revive because it's nearly like the AI of the behemoth is programmed to attack someone that's reviving right beside it. Drask has a huge body and a huge tail as well that can deal a lot of damage and getting caught on the wrong side of one of those side swipes or his enraged tail swings where he swings around twice can cause a lot of damage and maybe put you down. So take your time, learn his tails and use those windows of opportunity to deal as much damage as possible. I'm going to leave you guys with some more of this footage. Like I said, we got absolutely wrecked. Let me know what you think of the Drask fight if you've played it in the alpha or if you're planning on jumping into the Founders Alpha later on this month. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Dauntless and as always, thanks very much for watching.